I eat pears now and shit like Today I'm going to show you how to use localhost with Visual Studio Code and it's quite simple. So first thing you do is, first of all, I just recommend going to files and if you haven't already, turn on autosave, it'll save you so much time. And then in the extensions tab, this little button right here, you'll want to search up live server and click this one right here. It'll look a little something kind of like this. Obviously, install it, and once you have it installed, what you're going to do is see a little something like this. You'll see a go live button, but first what you have to do is create a, you know, like a folder and a file and all that type of stuff, and it requires you to have a head and body tag, so I guess it kind of knows like what to actually put on the site. And once you have everything set up, kind of like an example like me, what you want to do is just uh, either you can click this little go live button here in the corner, or I find it more easy to just right click and open with live server. And what this will do in your browser is actually um, create a new thing called 127001. And the default like port is 5500, but as you can see, I changed it to 8080, a more traditional port. And I'll show you guys how to kind of edit those settings. So what you're going to want to do is click this little settings icon, click on extension settings, and you're going to scroll all the way down to this port. Um, where is it? this live server settings port thing and edit and settings so Jason. As you can see I have it set to 8080 but you can set it to anything and zero will just be the default randomized port. But honestly I recommend 8080 just because it's more simple to keep up with. And also in the settings menu if you don't like the 127001 IP that it like gives you you can either what you can do is use your local IP by this setting down here at the bottom or you can scroll all the way up in live server settings host and you can change this to local host and now if we refresh here we can see it'll now bring us to local host 8080 instead of 127001 but just have some common sense and the cool thing about this is it actually edits live as you like go so I'll just kind of split my screen here alright so as you can see hello world this is a test and it'll go ahead and refresh automatically over here. Kind of like Glitch, if you guys know that website where you can like host basically whatever you want on there. Um, similar to that, and then you can just push this to GitHub or wherever you want to. And I'm sure any of these extensions would work, you just have to test them if you don't want to use Live Server. Credit to the person who actually did that tutorial I watched will be in the link in the description below. And I will see you guys later, thank you so much for watching.